What's going on guys, this is Rich here back with another video and today I'm bringing you guys a review of a shoe that I did not even plan on reviewing because I really didn't even know it was coming out but the moment I saw it, I knew I had to talk about it, I knew I had to get them and it's the latest collaboration between Puma and Nintendo on the Future Rider. These released last week and these are actually part of a two pack that was released for the Future Rider. This is the NES inspired one, but there was one before that was inspired by the Super Mario 64 game. It had a lot of different elements from that game on the shoe. I actually got that one as well, but today I wanna to talk about these in particular because out of the two pack, these are my favorites. Now, if you guys don't know, if you're new to the channel, I'm into gaming. I'm not a huge gamer like I used to be, but I'm still into gaming. So when I see collaborations between video game companies and sneakers, it automatically gets my attention. And I remember with Puma, the first collaboration I saw between Puma and a gaming uh, company was, was with Sonic. They did a collaboration on a couple of different models. One was inspired by Dr. Robotnik. One was inspired by Sonic. And I really loved that shoe. I believe it was back in 2016. I didn't get it because I actually saw the shoe at E3 when I used to go a lot. And the person that was there, he had them on and they had already sold out. And that was before I really was into shoes, but I haven't seen a collaboration with Puma in gaming since then. But with this one, because of what it represents, because it's an NES inspired, which I grew up with NES, I had to talk about it. We're gonna talk about the, the features, we're gonna talk about the colors, everything about the shoe, the sizing, the price, all that. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing about this shoe that really stood out and the moment I saw it, I had to have it, is the colorway. If you look throughout the shoe, the colors are based on the original NES system. So you're gonna have grays, reds throughout the shoe. On the back, you have the Puma logo. On the side of it, you have the reset button that you can find on the console of the NES, which I think is an excellent touch. And then the best touch of all, on the tongue of the shoe, you have the original Super Mario Bros. NES game cover on the toe. It's an amazing Easter egg. It doesn't really stand out to where it's like super loud. It's really subtle. You kind of got to be looking for it to, to see it, but it's one of my favorite features of the shoe. And for someone like myself who grew up with this game and grew up with this console, it really brings those nostalgia feels back and you know, I had to have it because of that. Also on the insole of the shoe, you have an image of Bowser right above the lava, one of the stage of the original game. And it's just the things like that that just really just blows me away. It's a dope detail. And there's so many more of those little details throughout the shoe. One other thing that I forgot to mention is that on the side of the shoe, you have a little NES controller keychain. You can take it off and put it on your keys or you can leave it on the shoe. I personally will be taking it off, but if you wanna leave it on, that's fine as well. So we got the details of the shoe out of the way, but let's also talk about this box just because I gotta give a shout out to Puma for actually taking the time to create a box that's worthy of the collaboration. You have the controller right on the front of the box and on the side of it, you have the Super Mario logo and you have the Puma logo. And I think that if you're gonna do collaborations, and I said this before in my Spider-Man review of the Superstars, if you haven't seen that, go ahead and check it out. But the box is just as important as the shoe. It's all about presentation. A lot of companies don't do this, but I'm glad that Puma did it. It makes the collaboration that much more special. The last thing I wanna to touch on when it comes to this shoe is the fact that just like with those Spider-Mans that I mentioned, this is another collaboration that was only $90. And I think they could have charged more for this if they wanted, but the fact that it was only $90 makes it that much better because it's not a super expensive shoe, but you can tell with the detail that they put into this shoe, all of the Easter eggs, all of the details, it really shows that this was a collaboration that they actually cared about and that they wanted everyone to have. So as far as sizing, I've never owned a Future Rider before. I would say go true to size if you're getting this shoe. The shoe fit just right, it wasn't too tight, wasn't too loose. If you want a bit of wiggle room in the shoe, you can go a little bigger, but for me, the size 11 fit just fine. This initial pair I was unable to get on release day because the shoe sold out extremely fast, especially in the size 11. So I actually caught these from a restock. So right now they're still available on certain websites like Foot Action, Foot Locker, Champs. If you're looking for this shoe, I would check right now. There's still some sizes available, but if you have to pay the resale, Right now, they're only going for 20 or 30 bucks more. So this is definitely the time to buy because I could definitely see these going up. So overall, this is a dope collaboration between Nintendo and Puma. And you could tell they took a lot of care and detail on this collaboration from the box 
to the shoe itself. Even if you're somebody who's not into sneakers, this is still dope to have as like a collector's piece. It really brings back the nostalgia and the feels that I have for growing up. I'm gonna keep them and rock them. I think it's a dope collaboration again. And if you're someone that's into gaming, NES, the classics, this is a must have. But I wanna know what you guys think. What's the best collaboration that you've seen between a video game and a sneaker company? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you can be updated on when our next video drops. This is Rich, thank you guys once again for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.